Hi, this is Kenny again. Um, yesterday I made a review for, review for Ultimate Evasion, but today I want to make a review for a, a contest of chaos since it also just ended. And I gotta say, ha, everyone knows this. This is yet another bland, mediocre, forgettable comic event from Marvel Comics. Now, people may think, but again, I got this from another user from Quora. And then this is the reviews for Contents of Chaos. And this is not fake. This is actually real. So as you can see, officially this event has less than 7.4 out of 10, which means it has mixed reviews. And I felt like this event was only created because Marvel saw how DC made a Night Terrors event. And they wanted it to get a quick buck and cash in on the and cash in on the hype. So they created Contest of Chaos, but they didn't have the plot. But anyway, it's literally just an event where um, where Agatha Harkness is trying to create a new Darkhold so that she can fight against Chaos. And I think the biggest problem, like this user said, is that the heroes get ruined. Like, for example, you look at right here, they, Iron Man and Storm realize, hey... These these crystals are making us angry, but then Storm says, "You know what? Who cares? I want to fight you anyway, even though I know there's some evil magic." I know about you guys, but that's not how a hero should work. It just comes up as these characters acting like douchebags and assholes, and that's really unfair because these characters are being ruined by Marvel writers. So that they can, the Marvel writers can get a quick buck. And I uh, just want to kind of scroll down a bit, like, like show you right here. And it's so funny that even Jessica Jones noticed. Yeah, literally, they can just type up heroes fighting each other, and it'll pop up on the internet. That shows how much these heroes fight each other way more often. And it's like people says, oh, you know, like DC Comics, they rely on too much on Batman and multiversal events. Well, at least there's good writing to it. Or like another example, Human Torch and Johnny Blaze, they're just talking, they're just hanging out, and suddenly Johnny Blaze attacks Human Torch for no reason. They weren't even possessed at all. He just attacks him for no reason at all. Like, why would you do that? What a hero should act or do. Like I said, this is why a lot of Marvel fans are leaving Marvel and going to DC Comics. Because there's not fighting. But anyway, uh, like I said, the fights here weren't that interesting. I mean, the art is also bland, but the way, like I said, the fight's just okay. Storm defeats Iron Man. Uh, Wolverine defeats Spider-Man. And Spider-Man is holding back, which I didn't mind that. Yeah, I'm a Spider-Man fan, but Spider-Man's getting embarrassed a lot. But for this one, I did not mind that. Uh, Human Torch tricks Ghost Rider. I'm just kind of scrolling this so people can get a brief understanding of what's happening. Okay, I also like this fight. Moon Knight um, just surrenders and knows that he's being corrupted. Which, this is written by a great writer, which shows how like these characters aren't acting weird. And it also has good art for that one. Um, Spider-Gwen and White Fox are forced to fight. This is also another good fight where... Venom and Depp will literally just throw hands over, I mean, across the roller coaster. Uh, yeah, I want to be six minutes, but. And, uh, hold on, I'm kind of scrolling it here. And Cyclops over, like, gives Carol Danvers an extra boost of energy, which forces her to sell, which forces her to self detonate. And then finally, and honestly, I didn't really mind this event until the ending, like this user said. So, so the heroes decide to call in Avengers, alright? And then, I'll kind of show you the heroes to fight against Agatha's possessed heroes. And, and Captain Marvel gets revenge on Cyclops. And they say, oh, hey, look, let's fight Agatha. But you know what's really weird? Like... It only, sh like, literally, um, it doesn't show the other heroes trying to fight the other heroes. Then it just shows uh, Scarlet Witch and Carol Danvers fighting Agatha. But we don't get to see Spider-Man fighting against Wolverine again. 
or like Jessica Jones fighting against White Fox. It's just whatever. But the most embarrassing thing was when the heroes are trying to calm down Agatha. They literally win because Carol Danvers picks up a book and explodes. Now, first off, does picking up a book cause the dark hole to explode? Like the, the new dark hole wasn't like um, unstable. And number and for, uh, number two, like literally, the heroes win by picking up a fucking book. Like that is so lame, and anticlimactic. You could have had Carol of Danvers putting in a lot of energy and the Wanda like saying a spell from the new dark hole to win, or you could have had all the heroes team up and gang up, and then they win. But it's like I said, it's just bland and just so embarrassing. And Agatha's an actual coward, and dare I say it, a pussy for like fucking running away, like not and not like giving out a fight. In the end, the heroes just celebrate, and Agatha, there's a new um, what is it? There's a new dark hold, and the dark hold becomes sentient. And slowly gains power, and that's pretty much it. Like, my problem with this event, it's not that it's oh, it's Marvel, so it's honestly bad. The problem, this uh, my problem with this event is that it clearly lacks no effort. Like, it wasn't made with fun, love. It didn't, wasn't made to show how cool and awesome the heroes are. It literally felt like it was made for just quick buff because Marvel saw DC making a horror event and like had bland art um it had the pacing was okay but the writing was terrible the heroes got ruined so it's a 5 out of 10 that's about it see ya